Mate, I'm just sitting here with uh, Jed Milton and... Uh, Why is he sitting on oh, a couch? Mate, you know the rules as well as I do. If, uh, if you're sitting up here on a couch, uh, you know what has to happen next. No. You know that uh, we're going to have to send you down this thing. So, uh, Canberra, uh, you want to see Jed Milton ride a couch down this one? The contraptions really weren't my department. They can go very horribly wrong. All right, they're getting him into position. Here we go. Jed Milton riding a couch. What? Oh! You think you do some, like, pre-testing on this stuff and everything was working, and I don't know what happened, but something went wrong. Yeah, definitely not for me. When we say contraption, it's just anything that you just jerry-rig like a bathtub and you like put some wheels on it and try to send it off a 50-foot jump or uh, like trying to strap a freaking gas bottle to a toilet and like riding it down the street if you're Cam McLean. Full speed ahead. <laughs> I'm so glad I was not attached to that. A contraption is just something that is never meant to be ridden or maneuvered or stunted with, and you take it to that place. Johnny From in the stretcher. Can you imagine going to the hospital and being like, how did you crash? Oh, I was riding a stretcher down a 65-foot roll-in, and I lost control before I hit the ramp. Like, that's just insane. When we were first figuring out what to even put in the show, everything seemed like this is never gonna work. Let's just go like right at the same time and I'll probably beat you down a little bit. All right. And then get out of the way. Good deal. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Almost every contraption. All of us are sitting there like, there's not a chance in the world that this is going to work. The boogie board's usually good, and it hooked towards the other ramp. That's bad. And then it hooked way off the other side of the other ramp and sent me into the wall, and I landed on a fold-up chair. But I'm just glad everything's working. <laughs> Hey, you almost had it. Give it another go. <laughs> oh no, that's face. Oh. Oh. oh! What the <laughs> just happened? Came up with the bright idea of putting a scooter in an ice chest. Guess it's my job to jump it. You ready? Ready. Let's do it. And next thing you know, we had 20 things that never, ever should have worked. And all of a sudden, they're in the show, and you're like, at least trying it, night in, night out. The contraptions really weren't my department. I feel like most of the BMX guys kind of jump in on the contraptions. Definitely the scooter guys uh, all th find the contraptions a lot of fun. With the pink wheels and the three pounds of metal, you got this for sure. <laughs> Mate, 
favourite moment in contraption in history. There's so many good ones. I love the contraptions. There's a lot of memories. Josh's penny filing crash. Oh! Josh Roberts! The front wheel was just massive and he landed like square on top and he went launching forward and he didn't get too hurt. The stupidest contraption I've ever done was definitely the uh, boogie board. I'm not the professional land boogie board like Dusty Weigel. <laughs> contraption king. Definitely Dusty Weigel. Why? Because he gets forced to do the most contraptions and he does the well, the wellest. <laughs> the wellest? He does the best. He basically survives enough that they keep making him do it. He's the best survivalist. Contraption King is not a moniker I bestowed upon myself, that's for sure. When we were starting the live show, there was only a couple of us around. I was young blood, willing to try a bunch of dumb stuff and had like a general ability to make it work when it probably shouldn't have, so. And then once you do it, everyone's like, well, that works, and since you did it, it seems like you know how to make it work, so that's your job now. Kind of by default, I just ended up with the gig of just making things that should not work at all. Kind of just make them entertaining and acrobatic, and it turned out I had a knack for it. My favorite contraption, I only just started doing it, but easily the couch. I think it's because as long as you go straight, it flies so good. Make some noise! Oh, yes! The couch has to be my favorite contraption in general. I don't really have a favorite moment. I feel like it's missed so many times with uh, Jed Milden flying off the side. Oh, oh. It's come up short and spat people off the front. And now our Willie and crew are doing backflips. I don't know about you guys, but I think I got the best seat in the house tonight. Hopefully he's got the speed. Flip the oh, no. no! He goes down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The flat. No, no, no. The jump. The flip. The no. lift. Yes! yes. Yeah. That thing is absolutely amazing. And everyone can relate to it and says, oh, I want to do the couch. But you get up on top of that ramp, and I accidentally sat in it for about a half a second and they started pushing it forward and I instantly regretted that decision. I dove over and just slid down on my belly. I don't know if Dusty was trying to send me off in it or, um, or not, but either way, that was probably the scariest moment of my life when I thought that maybe I was gonna have to drop in on the couch. The send, the fly, the land, the pull! He yeah, rolls away her. from it, Jimmy! Look at him, is he doing a trick? For me, the dumbest contraption would probably be the wheelbarrow. Honestly, one of the dumbest things I think I've ever seen in my life is Crumb getting in a wheelbarrow and getting pushed down the ramp by Chris Haffey on rollerblades. Hey, this is the sketchiest thing ever! Make some noise! I want to see someone get in the wheelbarrow! I can't imagine getting in the front of a wheelbarrow while Chris Haffey pushes me down on rollerblades and has to, like, aim me for the landing when even if it does land and he's not behind me, I'm still in a wheelbarrow going down a very steep ramp at a very high rate of speed. No steering and no way to control anything that's about to happen. Once you take off, you're just along for the ride. Like he just has to hope that Haffy directs him enough that he can try to ride away. Because if Haffy gets squirrely off the ramp or does anything, you're just, that's the hospital. So that's pretty ridiculous. For me, some of the most entertaining things to watch and the least exciting things to be a part of are the tandem contraptions. Tandem scooter is so terrifying. You're taking something that, well, inevitably is not built to fly and then you're doing it with someone else that has a completely different perspective on how to fly it. Oh, sh up. The highest skill set that's ever been pulled off on a tandem contraption would have been Jim Champ and Cam McCall backflipping the tandem sidecar bicycle. And why that's so difficult is because you're not flipping at the same time. It flips and under-rotates like an off-axis underflip. 
So they had to figure out how to take that rotation and work together to make it fly straight or flip straight. That's very difficult to figure out because it's going to take multiple crashes. There's so much more that can possibly go wrong, and that is why the contraptions are a staple of Nitro Series. It's about how far can we take it? How far can we progress? I'm like, hey, look, I can do a triple fronty. It's still probably the hardest trick I've ever done on BMX. 